Our Weekend Watch shines a spotlight on government activity. Chicago police officers have worked without a contract for over a year now. So one organization is calling for a new contract that would make the police department more transparent and in what they call a police code of silence. So you can read more about these stories right now by the watchdog group Better Government Association. And here to talk more about this specific issue is Rachel Levin. Nice to have you here. Good morning. This has been a long time issue. Obviously, police reform during the last administration, during the Trump administration, changing the focus somewhat with right. the Department of Justice. Right. Why is the police union contract so critical? Yeah, so the, the police union contract governs the relationship of the police department with its employees. So everything else, there's all sorts of reform and change happening, but all of this work, be it the t consent decree or other efforts, is going to come up against the rules that are in the contract that's actually, as you said, expired and is under negotiation. So there were 14 recommendations that the BGA is checking out, Correct. kind of bear down on some of the important ones. Yeah, so there, I mean, there's a number of them they touch on in sort of broad strokes, barriers that are put up to identifying police conduct, um, ways in which investigators can actually look at and interview cops during uh, misconduct investigations. But I think, you know, one thing that it will be very easy for viewers to understand would be identifying barriers to police conduct. So let's take a hypothetical, right? There are 13,000 police officers in the city, and let's say one of them may be harassing me, and I'm, I'm afraid of things escalating. I want to report that. So according to the contract, what I should be doing is going in and signing a statement that says, I make a complaint, and I swear to the truth of my complaint. With your name. With my name. And then eventually, you know, pretty soon down the road, that officer who I'm afraid of is going to be given my name and a very, very complete, if not a complete copy of my complaint. Right. So, I mean, you have to imagine if that was your coworker, if that was your teacher, if that was another authority figure, we wouldn't tolerate that. That is just one of the issues. There are several more issues. And the FOP would argue to that you should put a name with the argument too. So all kinds of different right. issues to take a look at. If you want to dive into this, deep dive into this issue, head on over to the BGA. They have more articles, BGA articles at bettergov.org. We're also posting a link on abc7chicago.com and our ABC7 app. So much to talk about on that subject. But hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.